Before installation, prepare all posts and mounting surfaces. We're using RDI Crossover Product Structural Posts with Crossover 4x4 Vinyl Sleeves. Once you've determined your desired bottom space height using blocks, place the bottom rail across the opening. Measure from the mounting surface to the first baluster hole on each end and adjust until these dimensions are equal. Then, trace the post onto the bottom rail and mark 1 8 of an inch short at each end to allow for expansion. When all of your mounting surfaces are plumb, transfer your measurements and baluster layout from the bottom rail to the top rail. Cut each end of both of the rails at the measurements you took in the last step. If you're using a one-piece trim ring, you'll want to install it now. Otherwise, go ahead and place a bottom mounting bracket onto each end of the bottom rail with the flat sides facing the rail ends and place your rail between your posts. Pre-drill the holes for the mounting brackets to avoid stripping the included stainless steel screws and secure into place using the included mounting screws. Locate the two crimped balusters. Place them into the bottom rail, evenly spacing them. Then insert your remaining balusters. If you haven't done so already, cut your top rail at the marks you made earlier. Place a T-shaped mounting bracket on each end of the top rail with the flat side facing the mounting surface. Be sure to keep the aluminum T-channel flush with the end of the vinyl and place the top rail onto the installed balusters. Raise the top rail 1 8 of an inch to allow for baluster expansion. Pre-drill the holes for the mounting brackets to avoid stripping the stainless steel screws. Secure the top rail to the mounting brackets using the supplied set screws. Check the installation for accuracy, then snap on the press fit top and bottom bracket covers. Complete the installation with crossover caps and trims, available at your endurance dealer. Next, let's install a stair section. Before installation, prepare all posts and mounting surfaces. We're using RDI Crossover Product Structural Posts with Crossover 4x4 Vinyl Sleeves. Depending on your stair angle and post placement, you may need a longer post. Temporarily secure a plank on the noses of the stairs between the posts onto which you are installing the stair rail. The plank thickness will determine the space between the stairs and the bottom rail. Place the bottom rail with the baluster holes facing up onto the plank with the sticker reading this end at top at the top post and clamp into place. Slide the rail until the baluster hole spacing is even on each end. Trace the post onto the rail and mark 1 8 of an inch short at each end to allow for expansion. Now cut the rail to fit. Be sure to allow a minimum of 2 and 3 8 inches from the edge of the first baluster to the end of the rail to accommodate the mounting brackets. If you're installing your stair rail at an angle between 35 and 38 degrees, snap a small insert into each bottom bracket. For an angle between 32 and 34 degrees, use the larger insert. Orient the top stair bracket with the insert placed at the bottom of the bracket and the bottom stair bracket with the insert placed at the top of the bracket. Slide the brackets onto the rail with the bracket's flat side facing the rail ends. Set your railing into place and for both bottom mounting brackets, pre-drill at all holes and secure in place with supplied stainless steel screws. Insert a non-crimp baluster into each of the first and last baluster holes of the bottom rail and insert the top rail. Place the top rail inside the posts and adjust for plumb. Trace the posts onto the rail and mark 1 8 of an inch short to allow for expansion. Cut your top rail at these marks. Slide a top mounting bracket in place at each end of the top rail, flat sides facing the posts. Be sure that the top stair mounting bracket is at the top and the bottom mounting bracket is at the bottom. 
Locate the two crimped balusters. Place them into the bottom rail, evenly spacing them. Place the remaining balusters into the rail section. Next, place the top rail onto the installed balusters. Set the top rail in place by inserting the first baluster at the upper post in the corresponding route of the top rail and work toward the bottom. Raise the top rail 1 8 of an inch to allow for baluster expansion and pre-drill the holes for the mounting brackets to avoid stripping the stainless steel screws. Then secure in place using the provided top rail mounting screws into both sides of each bracket at the top and bottom posts. Secure the top rail to the brackets using the provided set screws. Check the installation for accuracy, then snap on the press fit top and bottom bracket covers and insert the button plugs into the bottom brackets. Complete the installation with endurance caps and trims available at your endurance dealer.